be intimidated. Stock the barracks and double the patrols. If Paros is sending them, I want to know the moment they make landfall. Yes, Archon. But Archon, please, Zestis. the merchants have... I understand your concerns. But protecting the town and the quarries is what's most important. You may all go. Meeting is over. Alexios. How? When I closed my eyes, I could still see you fall. I thought I had lost you. Sander is still alive. They have her, don't they? I rebuilt my life from ashes. Do you understand? And now you tell me you're alive. to get her back. She's too far gone. I gave up on you both once. Never again. What have How you... How did you... I have a lot of questions. I think we both do. But ask. I'll answer what I can. I want to know about my real father. How did you know? I was told. Nikolaos, you saw him? In Megaris, yes. Nikolaos was your father. He was the man who raised you. Until he took his Spartan duty too far. He mentioned another. What can you tell me about him? I always hoped you would never need to discover the truth. But... There are things you need to know if we are to stop the cult. What do you mean? He sought me out before I knew your fa... Nikolaos. I've not heard from him in a long time. What's wrong? Soldiers from Paros just made landfall in the cove. A small force, maybe a dozen. Malaka. Timo, gather the troops. Questions will have to wait, Lam. I want to help. I assume you can use those weapons? Better than when you last saw me. Good. Come. There's always been a rivalry between the islands. After all, Naxos used to control Paros and Andros. They're envious of our craftsmen, too. And now? They think they deserve expansion. Their oligarch demands their wings spread wide. But we'll clip their wings before that happens. They don't know who they're up against. You remind me of Nikolaos. You fight just like him. Ruthless and cunning. He would be proud. The real world taught me better. When someone wants your head, you have to learn to save your neck. I know exactly what you mean. Let's continue this discussion somewhere the smell of death doesn't linger. Ride with me. What a strange day it has been. But a good one. I've certainly had worse. Me too.
You have grown into a remarkable man, but I see the burden you carry on your shoulders. Finding you has lessened it, I think. I'm glad, but I have wondered why the gods chose to reunite us now. So we can destroy the cult once and for all. If only it were that simple. You are mighty, but we cannot stop them alone. They are the source of all our pain, and they will cause more to many others unless we act. I put that life behind me the moment I left Sparta. I have Naxos to worry about now. Let me help you here. We can safeguard Naxos, and then hunt down the cult together. Mirini, the symposium is about to start. By the gods. I'm sorry, my sweet. I forgot. Prepare the horses. I'll be out shortly. The symposium? I need to show the people their leader is strong and in control. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. I will help you stop the cult, but before I can leave Naxos, I have to ensure it will survive without me. What do you need? Pharos has to be dealt with. We need to weaken their position. Once they're vulnerable, they will make a reckless decision and we will strike. What did you have in mind? We must force the Paros fleet to engage us and destroy it. But my Admiral Aeneas is missing. His ship was sailing for Paros to engage in peace talks, and he never returned. Don't worry. I'll find him. If you need me, I'll be at the Symposium. Although, try to look less intimidating should you choose to pay me a visit. Did you not hear what I said? These are their most skilled killers. You cannot stay in the public eye. They'll find you. I understand you perfectly. But I also need to be seen. The propagandist did his job well. I need more support to attack Paros. I've seen too many people die already. Please, come away from here. Aspasia, what brings you here? Alexios, read the room, my dear. I'm interrupting. Please, continue your discussion. It sounds fascinating. I've just come to tell your mother that the cult's elite forces are after her, and that this place is too open. And I've been telling Aspasia I need to appear in public to maintain the support of the citizens. You want me to handle the cult soldiers? Not only that. My people won't believe Paros is behind this without proof. I need you to find it. Of course. Good. And I'll make the rounds here. Shore up my support. Be careful. They're dangerous. I know. I'll get her out of here safely. Of course. I'd be happy to help you both. I'll see you again later. The cult soldiers were paid with Drachmi from Paros. Well, I could hardly ask for clearer proof. This will settle some scores. Take this to the Merchants Guild. Tell them it's the proof I promised. And tell them they can keep the coins. Of course. There was also this. I assume it's their orders. I recognize this. It's an old dialect. The cult must use it to communicate with one another. You can read it? This money isn't from Silanos. It's from someone in Sparta. That's not possible. I can translate it for you, but these orders come from a Spartan king. The Spartan nobility has always resisted the cult. The cult is like water. Any crack in the stone and they'll get in. Sparta stands against corruption. How can you say that after all Sparta has done to you? They tore apart our family. They welcome the cult with open arms. Why do you keep saying they? I am still Spartan. And so are you. Are you really? I have responsibilities here. Paros needs to be stopped. But then, yes, I will go back. You're the only survivor. They took prisoners. I was too far gone to carry back to Paros. What happened? We came to talk peace with Paros. They ambushed us. What of your captain, Aeneas? Took him. I'll get him. Make them pay. Ugh. 
Thank you, Mistios. I hope Phoenix pays you well for this. Remind her for me. Something's wrong with Paros. More than usual. Strange things are afoot. You're alive. You dealt with them just fine. I'll strategize from Naxos, starting now. Good idea. Time to get off this godforsaken island. I know my way back. You should tell Phoenix what you saw. I'll report to her at once. <clears throat> you may speak. Ships from Paros have blockaded the harbor. God curse Silanos and his damned cult! Do they never tire of meddling? Ugh. Tell them I'm on my way. Blockade? I've refused to pay tribute to Athens, and Paros is taking advantage of the situation. There goes our hope of striking first. I can bring my ship around and clear the harbor. Just you against an entire blockade? I don't see another option. But I have the best crew on the Aegean. Be safe and come back to me, Lamb. The harbor is clear. We need to move out before they send reinforcements. We're almost ready. Timo? The ships are loading now. They'll be ready on your command. Alexios, a word. Whatever you need. The cult must be stopped. When we return to Laconia, it will be dangerous. I'm used to it. We both are. Here I know who I can and cannot trust. I would have said that about Sparta too, but this news about the king. Did Aspasia find out which of the kings is working with the cult? For all we know, it's both. We must cleanse Sparta of its corruption, no matter the cost. At least now we can face them together. Yes. For all that those bastards tried to take from us. And your sister. We will find her. Come see me when you're ready. Are you ready to sail? I'm ready. <sighs> then I leave this to you. With your shield. Or on it. And now we strike a blow to the cult. You've more than made up for killing my abductors, Mistios. Thank you. Try to stay out of trouble, all right? I'll consider it. Put my coins to good use and wish me luck. Good luck. Naxos seems secure. We have done great things together for its people. But now, we must look beyond these shores and destroy the cult. They are everywhere and nowhere. Their followers are without number. Where do we start? We cut the heads off the beast, one at a time, until they are blind and defenseless. Sparta. Sparta? I still have influence there, and allies. We can rally around our home and cleanse it of their influence as an example to the world. It will be dangerous. Their hold on Sparta is strong. Don't you think it's time we returned? Together. I have only a few more things to do here. As soon as you're ready, we'll set sail for Laconia. I think there's something you should do first. What? You need to find your father. I think I've dealt with enough fathers for one lifetime. I don't blame you for that. But there are things you need to know if we are to stop the cult. Like what? I know you seek answers, and I want you to have them. But some things are not for me to explain. Hopefully one day you will understand. You'll find what you need on the island of Thera. I've given your navigator the course. I'll see you in Laconia. 
I'll be there. May Poseidon keep you safe. Safe journeys. Thera. Lamb, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? Not yet. You should. The answers to many of your questions are there. Your father would be proud to see how you've grown. For now, let's deal with what needs to be done here. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. As much as I curse this place for what it did to us, it feels more like home than Cephalonia ever did. Sparta is our home. But we'll have to rid ourselves of the Puppet King if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's... gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Alexios, wait. You shouldn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I can't stand here doing nothing. I'm going to help them. Pater? I'm here. I'm so cold. The sea that will carry you is very warm. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I was angry. It wasn't your fault. Shh. You have nothing to be sorry for. He died with honor. His death was unnecessary. What are you doing here? These boys were in trouble. I thought I'd help. No, he didn't. Don't lie to me, boy. You should be ashamed of yourself. And you. These boys are weaker now because of you. The Spartan army will be weaker because of you. I should kill you where you stand. Are you all right? What happened? I couldn't just stand by and watch. The Ahogi is what turns boys into men and soldiers into Spartans. You have only made them weaker by interfering. What good are they to anyone if they're dead? Alexios, please. This isn't Kefalonia, Naxos, or anywhere else. This is Sparta. And breaking Spartan law can get you killed. Believe me, Mater. I know exactly what breaking Spartan law gets you. Come. Let's go home. This was the first and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaus was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me he's going to bring glory to Sparta. As much as I hate him for what he did, I wouldn't be who I am today without his training. My heart broke that day. But for the first time in ages, standing here with you, I truly believe it can mend again. Me too. Do you remember the first time you held your sister? <laughs> I was scared I'd break her. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held her so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of her. She turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Vrasidas. 
The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Brasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? Oh, I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. There you are! I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. Waiting won't make this easier. They won't look kindly on you asking for favors without offering some kind of help first. Like taking care of the soldiers arming the Ilotes. I'm tired of doing people favors. Let's get this over with. Come on then. Your mother's waiting inside. I yield. Another two squadrons to Vietir, then. As I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos' guard has improved. He should thank me. Prasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings. May I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her son, Alexios. I heard you'd come back. How dare you step foot on Spartan soil? I should cut it off for what you did. They helped us secure Curanthia, my king. I beg you to listen. They are descendants of Leonidas. For that reason alone, they should be allowed to speak. And if we don't like what they have to say, you can chop off any limb you see fit. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your son killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose he gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Then blame me. I killed the Elder. I started all of this. So, if you want someone to prove their loyalty, it should be me. I'm not sure if I should congratulate you on your honesty, or punish you for the crime you've just confessed. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta, and kill them. And who exactly do you think betrayed Sparta? That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta, and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. 
Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how he'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. <sighs> Perfect. One last thing. When you come asking a favor, it is customary to bring a gift. But you didn't. So now I will choose your gift for you. A wolf has been attacking farmers on the Discuri Peninsula. People say it's King Lacaon himself, cursed by Zeus to live out his days as a wolf. I will kill this animal and bring you its head. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done, and you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas, show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. Do I look like I need training? I was sent by King Pausanias to collect the Pankration Champion. My apologies. I didn't realize you were here for Testicles. Next time, think before opening your mouth. Typical Spartan. Don't understand that honey can get you more than vinegar. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. Time to get tested, please. Kinikite ευθέως εκείσε. Ο κολυγοντές. Ουδής η μόρτο σου το ισχυλός. Ουδής το σου το αδύναμος εστί. Έκραστος. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Cause I'm Testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. There's nothing to be nervous about. We'll be there cheering you on. But what if I don't win? They'll build statues and write poems about you. But first, we need to get you there. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well? We going? Uh, he better fucking win. Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young, little girl.
We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner? You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> oh, a pity your brain isn't as big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oil before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I like to be oil. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Come here. Gives us a hug. Surely he can swim. Well, it looks like you're the champion now. Huh? I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And you want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at it. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. I'm here for the Pankration. You must be joking. The only fighter we're missing is Testicles. I'm Testicles. Your Testicles. <laughs> the same Testicles I went out drinking with last season. The one who made advances on my wife. And brother. Ah... Uh, the diet and training is... Transformative. Obviously. The people came for a show. I'll give them one. This is unprecedented. But the crowd will riot if the Pankration is cancelled. Very well. The competition begins shortly. Time to go. Come on! It is my pleasure to introduce to you Kalias, a former champion here in the stadium, and now an esteemed judge here in Olympia. My friends, it is an honor for me to introduce this event, one so close to my heart, the Pankration. I will not delay you with words, for we all want to see action! For Zeus, let the competition commence! Ha ha ha! I'll squish you like a bag! It hurts! Where is your tough talk gone now? That was your best? That was but the beginning! What? Now that our contestant is warmed up, let's see what he can do against... Erastos! Good luck! Don't blink, or you'll be seeing stars! <laughs> The crowd 
loves you, but you're not done yet. Not done? A fine offering to the gods, wouldn't you say? Soon, we will return for the final contest. The mighty Alexios against our reigning champion, Vorias! Oh. Astounding! To think I could be a companion to an Olympic champion. Oh, you're even better at sparring than I am. Though, if Socrates were a more willing... ...a partner... Alcibiades, are you all right? I was with my friends, Dimophanes and Callias. Respected Olympic judges, no less. Too much cheap wine? You look like you drank from Medea's cup. Medea's cup? You think he's been poisoned? If you've been poisoned, I need to find these judges. Poisoned? Do you think that they could be two, or...? No, never. They're good men. You can't think one of them. They host a celebration every Olympics to celebrate the sacred truce. Stay with you. I'll find out what happened. Now, we're going to have a conversation. Please. Please, I, I was just doing what I was told. I'm not after you. I'm after whoever wanted this done. I don't know. I never saw him. I just thought he wanted to fix a race. But then I saw what started happening, and I knew they'd been poisoned. My friend, Alcibiades. I need to save him. You'll likely find the antidote up at Fort Koroibos. Whoever did this will pay. Go, and don't let me see your face again. Yes, thank you. Here, I have the antidote. More wine, please, to wash away the taste. A treatment worthy of Hippocrates. I can already feel my stamina returning. <clears throat> Didn't you have one last fight in the Pancration? Let's go. Your next opponent is Dorios. Claims to be descended from Heracles himself. I'm ready. You ever faced an Olympic champion before? I fought all sorts of people, and they were armed with more than just their fists. Let me in there. Let's get this over with. For Ira. We've seen our esteemed newcomer rise quickly to become a contender. But let's see how he does against our reigning champion, Voryavs! I will suck the marrow from your bones. Victory! Nike!
the gods have looked kindly on these, our champions. But there can only be one winner. Sparta! Yours is eternal glory. Who are you? Me? I'm no one. But you? You're even godlier than Brasidas said you'd be. It should be your statue between these trees. Brasidas? What does he have to do with this? Warrior, he said. Look for the mighty warrior with the broken spear. I added the godly bit. I'm just a traveler. And there's more than one broken spear in the world. And the eagle he mentioned. What eagle? Where is Brasidas? I need to speak with him. Of course you do. And the woman. You'd like to speak with her too, yes? Wait. She looks like you. Tell me where they went. I should. It's what Brasidas paid me for, after all. Then why don't you? He didn't pay enough. Just a traveler, he says. Tell me where they are, or I'll cut that shit-eating grin off your shit-eating face. He said you had a nasty temper. He wasn't wrong. Tell me where my mother is, or I'll shove my spear so far down your throat. You'll be shitting iron at the gates of Hades. Please, show mercy. Speak! They're on a hill. A cliff overlooking the gale. Brasidas didn't pay you enough? Who did? Tell me, or I'll wrap your guts around your neck and hang you from that tree. The Archon, he's paying more for your head than Brasidas could afford in two lifetimes. Tell me who the Archon is. I want a name. <laughs> La Rose. His name is Laros, and he's the most powerful man in Arcadia. He who controls the grain, controls the world. You threaten the wrong people, Malaka. I don't threaten. I promise! Thank the gods you found us. I got your message. I killed the messenger. He betrayed you, Brasidas. These cultists Marini told me about. They knew you were coming and must have forced La Rose to place the bounty on your heads. Trusting anyone in Arcadia will be difficult now. Which is why I say we put that Archon's head on a pike. Our message to the Puppet King in Sparta will be clear. Let's find out more about what's going on in Arcadia. We should be able to solve this La Rose problem without too many beheadings. After what happened to the monger in Corinthia, that crowd wanted blood. Violence doesn't always solve problems. <sighs> Whatever happens, we need Lagos alive. Arcadia is Sparta's breadbasket, and Lagos keeps it full. That man is working for the cult of Cosmos, not Sparta. Then we need to free him from their grasp. What makes you think he wants to leave? Bounties and threats aren't Lagos' style. He's a farmer, not a killer. Looks like I came just in time. You certainly did. But it's time to make a decision. Your strategy makes sense, Brasidas. Thank you. I'm glad you agree. You're letting sentimentality cloud your judgment. Thousands of Spartans depend on Lagos for food and protection. His death would bring chaos. There's a farmhouse northeast of Degea where he has a safe house. Meet me there before you do anything you'll regret. And what if Brasidas' plan doesn't work? The Archon hides like a coward in Fort Samikon. You can't miss that monstrosity. You could go after him now, but be careful. 
He's well defended. Then we must weaken his defenses. He's got barracks full of guards and silos full of grain. It would be a shame if any came to harm. I'll go see what Lagos is up to. Good luck, my lamb. He's dead. This complicates things. One less cultist? Seems simple enough. Lagos was a dear friend once. I should have been there. I'm sorry, Brasidas. But when Lagos joined the cult, he sealed his fate. So you execute the manga in public against my advice, and now you kill Lagos? If you were under my command, you wouldn't be anymore. I don't follow orders. I do what I have to. So it's done. I suppose you'll be wanting to report the news to Sparta soon. We may have won the wreath, but the kings also wanted us to conquer the Viotians. True. You are needed there before we return. Marini, you are as determined as ever. I'm sure you will regain your house soon. With Lagos dead, arrangements must be made to ensure Sparta doesn't starve. Arcadia is safe once more. And the bounty is lifted. We are free to travel without fear. Then let's continue our journey. Looking for... You! Stentor? Oh! Malakas! I'm here to help, you idiot! Not after Megaris! Not after what you did! King Archidomos of Sparta sent me to aid you in securing the region. This is how much he trusts me. He put his faith in a fucking mercenary! The gods are punishing me with your presence. If I was your punishment, you'd already be dead. Why have the kings sent you? Stentor, relax. I'm here as an ally to Sparta and to you. We've worked together once. We can do it again. Your help in Megaris might have secured the region for Sparta, but I lost more than I gained. I shouldn't have trusted you then, and why now? You should thank the gods that I've come to help you. The only reason you're still alive is that the writ you carry. You're not an ally, just a weapon. Then put me to work. You're not up to the challenge. Try me. There are four Viodian champions fighting for the Athenians. Aristeos, Vianira, Nesea, and Veragon. You think you can kill them? I'd like to see you try. I told you we could work this out. All right, then. I'll find these champions and put an end to them. I doubt it will be as easy as you think. But I'm relieved to see you can follow orders. The sooner I get this done, the sooner we take Viotia for Sparta. Potter? Alexios, what are you doing here? I came to kill him. He wouldn't have been a challenge for you. But I'm glad our paths have crossed again. This is the last place I expected to find you. I left Stentor with the greatest responsibility a man could carry. I couldn't leave him to face it alone. How thoughtful. Killing these champions will weaken the Athenian hold on the region and destroy the rebels' morale. Leaving Stentor to pick up the pieces in Megaris was a mistake. I could not stay, not after what happened. I wasn't fit for command. Neither is Stentor. But he isn't running from it. You've changed so much. This is who I've always been. 
You just weren't there to see it. I will never be able to change that. But I can do something now for someone who needs me. There are things Stentor must hear to succeed. I wish you helped me back in Sparta. But Stentor does need your help now, even if he doesn't want to admit it. Stentor is as much your family as I am. You can still be there for him. I will. He may hate me, but I'm glad to have met him. <laughs> In a way. Goodbye, Alexios of Sparta. You're back. The champions have been dealt with. You should be dead. You seem disappointed. The gods are punishing me. I'm a mercenary. Killing is what I do. There is nothing godly about it. Modest, but mortal. And Hades will have you too. We'll cross that river when we get to it. I don't have time for this. Sparta must take this region now, while we have the chance. Let's get this over with. I couldn't agree more. The sooner I'm rid of you, the better. Victory is ours! If I hadn't been here, you'd never have survived. My father would have ensured a more decisive victory. But he's not here. Oh, we have you to thank for that, if I recall. Uh, don't start. Don't you dare tell me what to do. I am in command here. You needed my help. By the gods, how are you so arrogant? No wonder my father discarded you. You know nothing about my family. I know he threw you off of a cliff and chose me instead. Oh, now who's being arrogant? You were an afterthought. You were second place. We'll see about that. What do you mean? Now that we've driven the Athenians from the field, it's time I dealt with my true enemy. Stentor, you... Your job is done, mercenary. Now I will kill you for what you stole from me in Megaris. You don't have to do this, Stentor. Oh, but I do. There is nothing you can say to convince me otherwise. This isn't what Nikolaos would have wanted. Oh, you fucking know. Traitor. I am not a traitor. You betrayed Sparta. You betrayed your family. You killed my father and stole my chance at a normal life. You deserve nothing but the cold of my blade buried in your heart! Killing each other. ...will not heal the wounds of the past. Pater! Hello, Centaur. I thought you were dead! Not just yet. He should pay for what he's done! I've already paid. More than you could ever know. I don't give a shit what you've been through! Centaur, it's done. I don't understand. You both have a greater role to play. Become the leader I trained you to be. Lead the armies of Sparta and be victorious. How? You are an honorable man, a loyal son, and a great warrior. You will be a better commander than I ever was. You can do this. I will, father. I will make you proud. You already have. That could have ended badly. Alexios, a shadow grows across Sparta. Be cautious when you return. Mater and I will deal with it. You found her? 
Ruling Naxos. Sounds like her. <laughs> May the gods watch over you both. I'm here to face the kings. Are you ready to take back our family's land? Of course. But my purpose here is to bring down the cultist king. You make your mother proud, Alexios. But are you sure you have enough proof to accuse him? I'm sure. I'll gather the Air Force and meet you in the throne room. See you in the throne room.